From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Lauren St. Germain. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Authorities just charged a man for two rapes dating back to the 1990s. Pinellas County deputies say a DNA test from a distant relative led to the arrest of Robert Thomas after all these years. He's accused of attacking a woman on Indian Rocks Beach and a second victim in Venice. Boeing just announced it's suspending production of its 737 MAX jets. They've been grounded since March after two deadly crashes that killed more than 300 people total. The FAA says there's no set time frame for when the jets could be allowed to fly again. Boeing says it doesn't expect any layoffs or furloughs to happen once it halts production next month. And the Salvation Army needs more bell ringing volunteers to collect donations at its red kettles. Their biggest day of the year is coming up and that's December 21st. That's matching Saturday when a donor will match every donation made to the red kettles. The Salvation Army says the red kettles fund 70% of its income for the entire year. Now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. How you doing everybody waking up to some patchy fog. In fact, I would not be surprised if we see some dense fog advisories on Tuesday morning and then later on in the day we'll be tracking a front showers and thunderstorms with it. Maybe an isolated strong storm and then turning cooler by Wednesday. Don't forget you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and remember to download our free ABC Action News app.